letters with Z and Y as the starting letters. And we have transaction codes. We call it as T codes. Are used for navigation purpose. All the applications in SAP are provided with a T code. SC38 we use regularly for the ABAP editor for writing the ABAP programs. SC11 for data dictionary. This is for creating the tables, views, structures, etc. SC37. Like this, we provide 100 T codes for the AWAP programming function modules. 36 for logical database. In SAP 4.7 version, we have around 12,094 T-codes. In SAP 6.0, it is as much as 1 lakh. So, so many T-codes, 100 T-codes we use in ABA programming. In our programming, always remember the T code to access the program. Here I am writing a sample program. I am starting the server here. The server is in my system only. We have the logon icon click on it. This is on the client side, SAP logon icon, click on it. You have to give the authorization now. Here the client is a three digit number given by the basis people. 800 is the default client. It is a independent SAP environment. It is always a three digit number given by basis consultants. And username here we have is SAP user and password we have here is welcome. And language English. Not welcome, India 123. In small letters. Once you log on to the system, I am doing one sample program of a web now. First program in a web. This is the starting screen. We are going to a place called ABAP Editor. SC38 is a T code for it. Type this T code in this prompt. This is known as prompt here. Prompt. 
we can use c commands here like this slash n to close the current transaction slash o to create a new session slash i all these commands you can use in the prompt to terminate the session slash nex to close all the sessions without prompt suppose i am giving slash n sc38 means to close the current transaction and take to above editor like this you can use the commands here i am going to the above editor now here the program name should begin with z hgm i am starting first program you can give any name starting letter should be z this is a program name create we are in the source code here click on create title of the program my first program in abap language it is not case sensitive so you can type in small or capital letters the type of program is executable program and we are saving this save this program as local object they are non transportable objects later on we create a package and save that in the package here i am selecting executable program title of the program is given now save it save this as a local object press the button local object here Lines are non-transportable object across the lines. This is so a. Yeah, you can later on create one package and save these files. Now you can create uh, using this uh, local object. Yeah. So then we save it and we go create transport. No, we cannot do it, sir. Okay, this either you can do either with no local or non-trans. or transportable object okay no both ways so this is all the reports here all the above programs are reports here i am saying author hemant date 12 october 2015 time 10 am isc this is all for the information about the program all the programs are known as reports i am writing one small report now using right statement first statement in abap u line again right I want to start this at 40th column. Whatever I have just now used, I am using all of them in this program. Color you can give. Skip is omitting the lines. I want to omit four lines. Again, write third statement in above. This I want to give in a color of. Save for your line. 
this is a program I want to execute now. After writing the program, click on the save button. Save the program in SAP repository. This is a save button. Now check. Check for syntax errors. Every line should end with a period here. That is a syntax. Giving space also is a syntax. This is a check button. Syntactically correct. Then activate to make the program ready for execution in the memory. In the memory, only activated programs will be residing in the memory. So, this is the activate button. Say continue. This is activated now. Now the last one, execute the program. This is known as direct processing. Execute the result of the program. This is the result. This is the statement title first statement u line it is starting the second statement after 40 characters skip is omitting the lines four lines third statement is given in color i want to avoid this line now here the title is repeated two times so here i say no standard page heading page heading if I give like this, the heading is avoided. Again do save check activate and execute. This heading is avoided. Press the back button to edit the changes. Again back to write a new program. I want to change it, say change. Now small assignment, here you can say no standard page editing. You just display, I can't do using right statement. Can you type in the Skype sir, I will see here and execute. I have to display this statement I can't do using a right very simple just try I will copy that in this program
apostrophe also sir okay You try it now. I just try here. Once I execute, I will correct the statement. English is always dangerous language. Yeah. Yes, done. Yeah. <coughs> okay, let us try this one now. You want this three lines? No, uh, what password is the report name? Correct, correct. Uh, just write. I can't do it. Yeah, I am typing here this statement. And if you give. Yeah, good. Here, let us see now. mistake you are done is just give a space here and remove this slash it will be enough again here you give the quotes save this is to concatenate the string sir okay some practice as well every day the second topic we will be doing is data types with this we can write so many programs sir, every day keep the practice as well they are divided into two types elementary data types and structured data types elementary is again classified into predefined data types and user defined data types in this predefined we have numeric character integer pack float hexadecimal date time and string user defined starts with the types keyword Structured also again we have predefined 
predefined means already defined by SAP. Tables is a keyword here and user defined. is internal tables. The first chapter ends with internal tables only. First today we are going to see elementary predefined data types. Before going there we should know about data objects. Data objects means we call them as variables in other languages. They change their value during runtime or execution time. Example A. A is not given any value. By default A takes, by default A is one character. opposite of data objects is constants have a fixed value always example constants I have to use the keyword a is equals to 20 earlier you are not given any value now you are giving value 20 What is meant by data? Data is a keyword to define data objects. This is the syntax for the data. Data, data object name followed by type, predefined data type. Define data type. Again, data object name, type, predefined data type and data, one more syntax we have, data object name, like existing data object. I am giving examples for these two data a type integer integer is a data type a is the data object i want to define one more data b like a a is the existing data object b is also one integer data c and o like k and a1 kunar here KNA1 represents a customer table and Kunar is representing a customer number field in it in the table. So CNO will be KNA1 Kunar means it is referencing this table and the field with a like you are referencing. What is meant by data types means what type of data? data data object is going to store in it is known as data type so here example a is storing integer integer is a data type data type so we are defining now all these 
elementary predefined data types. Whenever I use in the program, I have to use data as a keyword. N is for numeric. Numeric is from 0 to 9 digits. It is not used for calculations. So, it is used for sequence of numbers. Numbers. Example, employee number, vendor number, material number, all these are serial numbers represented with numeric. You can represent like this or without the quotes like this. C is for character. Characters are all A to Z letters and alpha numeric. Alphanumeric means a number with a character. By default, the default data type is always character. You can represent like this a number with a character, or you can say a name like this. I, I is for integer, integer all minus values and positive values. So it is used for calculations. No decimals here in the integers. If you have decimals, use P. P means packet decimals. Here we have a decimals as a keyword. Is keyword. Keyword is to be compulsorily used here. For example, NUM type P. I have to specify how many decimals I want. Decimals 2. the number is of two decimals. Here maximum you can specify 14 decimals for packet decimal. It is used for calculations no doubt. And the F is for float exponential result is displayed. Maximum of 16 decimals are displayed here. For example, after the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and e plus something like this. This is a float. It is used for approximate results. So I want to display approximate results, I use float. X is for hexadecimal. This is for binary numbers, system numbers, big big numbers are stored in hexadecimal form. And system numbers inbuilt the system is using the hexadecimal form always we don't use it 32 bit numbers 64 bit numbers all this d for date date is of always date first year followed by month followed by date eight characters always. You have to specify the date in the format like this. 
first year followed by month followed by date T is for time time is mentioned in hours minutes and seconds and the last one is string anything in a single quote is a string these are very simple programs this is a programs execute on the system now this is a program program for numeric and character data types data and umb of four digits type numeric if i don't give this number of four digits it will display only one character name i want type c so if i give like this number is given as 1000 name is given as ravi krishna every line should end with a period write the number and name the result of this program will be 0 and r it takes only one character by default it counts the number from units tens hundreds like this zero and the name is read like this one character from the name if i want the same program for to print all the things just give the length for here number this will give the complete result the result will be 1000 ravi krishna the same program i am changing a little bit now try all these ways here instead of doing like this i say move 1000 to number move ravi krishna to name this is also the same result 1000 ravi krishna instead of equals to i am giving move statement now integer integer data type a type integer b type integer c type integer i want to add the numbers here c equals to a plus b right c the result will be obviously 90 one more program i want to use parameters here this is a keyboard use to give input values at run time or execution time so this is a program for parameters parameters is a keyword i have to use a type integer b type integer data c type integer now i don't give a and b values i just give c equals to a plus b right c when i execute the result it will ask the a and b values there i give the value a b then click on execute button 
execute button will come for parameters it will display the result as 180 try these programs in the next class I will continue with pack decimal and float ok Every day this time is comfortable, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, you so see. We can, we can, yeah, we can eat, uh, uh, I will use a Dropbox, sir, okay. and uh, place these files in the Dropbox <laughs> and share that Dropbox to you. You can access all the files every day. Till the end of the course, don't delete the Dropbox. Okay? I can save it to my local uh, Yes, sir, but don't delete in the Dropbox so that yes, I will follow according to the Dropbox. Okay? Yes, sir. After the course, you can delete. Okay, no worries. Yes. Are you going to send that particular thing? Yes, sir. Today I will send by evening. Okay? Uh, yeah, you give me your mail ID now. Okay. It is more important for me. Yeah. And uh, whenever you are very busy, you just give a mail to me. Yeah. So that I will do my things. Okay. Yeah, yeah good sir. Very good. Okay. I'll use this for sending the mails. And if there is any problem in the internet connection anytime or you are not able to connect me, you call me on my mobile 9866473345. Okay, my name is Sri Ram Fani. So you just can call me anytime. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, this class, yes, sir. You. Uh, Tomorrow onwards I will place it as and when sir, but today at 3 o'clock you can access, okay? No, you will send by mail the particular program, right? Ah, yes sir, sure. I will send by mail only. Uh, when I click on it, it directly comes to Dropbox and from there it comes, so I can save Yes sir, correct. Every okay. day I will place, uh, without uh, you don't have to download every time, okay? It automatically okay. updates your uh, Dropbox. So what I am saying, can uh. I copy these uh, uh, files to my uh, local system? Ah, yes sir, you can do it. But don't delete in the Dropbox, okay? Yeah, I don't delete. That is my idea. Only just because I would know whether what we have done so far or we have not covered anything so far, okay? Sure. That is the only reason, sir. There is nothing to reason as such. Yeah, sure. Okay. So, thank you very much, sir. Have a nice day. We meet again tomorrow. Slowly we go initially, sir. Later on we can spend more time on the subject. Yeah. I am on this subject only. Don't worry at all. How best you can do it, okay? Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Same time, sir. Bye.